let's see how such an attack would work. Step 1. Mr. Victim logs into his own list management application where he keeps track of his grocery list. In this application, he is able to add or remove grocery items from his list. Not very critical, but this could have easily pinned in an application that lets some add or remove external bank account and to transfer money between them. For some reason, while still logged in, he opens up another browser tab to browse the web. While browsing around, he follows link after link and finally ends up on the page which he finds interesting. When Mr. Victim goes back to his own site to add an item that he had forgotten, he notices that now an extra item is present on his list that he had never added. Somehow Mr. Hacker has been able to add an item to Mr. Victim's list. So how could this have happened? The answer is an HTML source of the site that Mr. Victim visited while he was logged into his own application. Here we see that the site wasn't pure static HTML like it seems. There is a hidden iframe on the page pointing to submit form.html. Let's see what is it. In the submit form.html we see that there is a form called hack form that is automatically submitted as soon as the page is loaded. Let us see some of the victims.